Cherry Blossoms, inside the Tokyo Imperial Palace. This gate is only open very rarely, and for a few days here in 2014 April, they've opened the gate so you can go in and see the cherry blossoms. I feel like I'm a little bit part of a herd, but pretty excited to go through those gates. This special opening was to celebrate the Emperor's 80th birthday. From April 4th to 8th, just five short days, visitors were allowed to walk down Inuodori Street, 750 meters from the entrance at the Sakashita Gate to exit at the Anui Gate. When most people think of viewing cherry blossoms, they think of peace and quiet, maybe having a picnic or composing a haiku. But this is really the opposite of peace and quiet, because you're here with 10,000 of your closest Tokyo friends. And actually, here's one of my close Tokyo friends now, Samuel. Hey Chris, how's it going? Excellent, good to see you. The amount of people visiting the Imperial Palace on these five days was truly incredible. From the moment leaving Tokyo Station, all I had to do was follow the herd, this herd. And I was directed the whole time by helpful Japanese police officers, and there were a significant amount. At the beginning of the line, they wore police uniforms, but as you get closer to the palace, they were now wearing suits. Watching the line go by keeping the peace. Walking traffic through the palace is enforced to be one way only, this way, though there are occasional stops to take pictures. You can tell where the sights are because there will be 50 people taking photos. I've really never seen so many people jockeying for position trying to take pictures of an empty road, albeit an empty road with a few cherry blossom trees. But you could only stand in one place admiring the cherry blossoms for so long before the police officers would get kind of cranky on their megaphones. I'm not exactly sure what they're saying. I'll let you be the judge. Let's listen in for a moment. <laughs> Wow, now that was some peaceful cherry blossom viewing right there. Okay, let's go move along and see the next spot. I mean, wait, I forgot. There were like 100,000 people here. Let's slowly walk forward in a mob to go see the next spot. And then once the rain starts, the umbrellas come out. You're no longer looking at cherry blossoms, you're now looking at 10,000 umbrellas. And of course, the mob slows down even more. If you're thirsty and you want to drink some of the Imperial Palace water, because it's certainly better here, they have a sink set up where you can go up and get some water. And that takes us to just about the end of Anuadori Street. 750 meters of not the most peaceful cherry blossom viewing experience, but I do have to say one of the most interesting that I could share with 100,000 of my closest Tokyo friends. So if your travels take you to Tokyo, Japan, and you're there for the Emperor's 80th birthday, then check out the Tokyo Imperial Palace Cherry Blossoms. Wait, 80th birthday. So if you're watching this in 2014, that'll probably be 100 years from now. Um, well, maybe just watch this video again. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe. You might be interested in some of my other cherry blossom videos. Click either of them to watch. Click here to watch cherry blossoms at the Hirano Shrine in Kyoto.